What is going on guys? It is your boy Sharp and it's from Secret Intelligence. Today I'm going to be talking a bit about uh JBot, which is a new botnet under development. This has been under development for the past um I wanna say week. <laughs> uh it's been pretty fast. I've, I've dedicated a lot of time to it. Um I th I decided to make this video because before but, but we've gotten pretty far in it and i think it's a done deal that this is going to be you know software i'm going to be releasing um so yeah um this is going to be open source it's going to be absolutely free to use there's going to be documented tutorials on it i say tutorials because i will upload tutorials myself and i will have other people upload tutorials as well now um I want to talk a bit about it so this is going to be iot based for the beginning i guess we're just going to have it uh, malware made for iot devices etc we're not going to really implement any exploits um i guess you could <laughs> you could implement your own uh exploited uh, mach uh machines or devices onto this um if you use the malware but you know up to you on how you want to do that um you know how we're going to be advertising to scan devices to this is by using zmap uh, you can use zmap to scan devices and then you can use um uh we i'll probably make a uh there's actually you know there's actually brutas out there already so i probably won't make one however there's brutas out there you can use there's ones for the qbot you could use there's a brutal for the qbot that brutes ssh servers so uh you could scan ssh brute ssh and then you could um upload the malware, the payload, uh, the software the botnet will be able to generate a payload for you in the uh, command and control area. Um, <laughs> this is going to be based to SSH for SSH encryption. Um, one second. We're not going to be using um, Telnet or RAW like the Mirai or like the QBot. I haven't messed with the FBot before, so I don't know uh, what protocol that uses, etc. But we're going to be using SSH for its standard encryption. And we're also going to be implementing our own encryption, uh, but not our own encryption, but it's going to be AES encryption. Um, we're going to be using AES encryption because we want packets to be encrypted. Now you can customize this encryption with your own key, etc. Um, now, obviously, to customize the encryption key, you're going to need to actually have to edit the source code. If you don't know Java, then you won't need to worry about that. It's got a default uh, encryption key. <clears throat> you can um, use that by default. Obviously, I'd recommend you guys change that if you're going to be using this maliciously. Obviously, we don't condone that. If you are going to be using it maliciously, though, I, I feel like it's our obligation to kind of um, guide you correctly on how to use it instead of just being stupid with it and then, you know, having a whole lot of problems go down. So, um, yeah, we recommend um, changing the encryption key. Um, it's set to some long encryption key. I don't even remember, but yeah um there's encryption keys there you can use um there's a bunch of stuff you can do there's a bunch of methods on it i can actually uh check for you guys so the methods we have on jbot currently that we're going to be you know defaultly adding in is going to be udp strong udp sin and http get slash http post now the reason um uh, you know, I've added this many methods. It's because I want it to be as diverse as possible. Because I know not, not not a lot of you guys are going to be knowing Java, and not a lot of people are probably going to contribute to this. So I want to have a lot there. Now, obviously, this is open source because I had the idea that you know you guys can contribute to this software. You guys can you know add your own methods in. You guys can learn how to use Java, and you know you can learn to program in Java. You can start writing your own code, making your own variants of this. That would be amazing. I'd love to see that. You know. Um, you guys kind of supporting the, the the software, you know that that would, that would be amazing. Um, obviously, though, <coughs> it's up to you guys if you actually want to learn a whole new language. I know a lot of people are still stumped on C, etc., because you know they wanted to learn C because Cuba, I believe, Fbot and um, Mariah are all made in C, as well as some other uh, variants that aren't too well known. Um, and I know there's a few in Python as well. Now, <laughs> the one thing that I'm proud that I'm proud of, that I'm proud that I implemented is it being very easy to use. Now, when you first download the software and everything, there's a few things you're going to need to do. Number one, you're going to need to download a Java IDE or a Java editor. You don't need to essentially download the editor. You could do this all from the command line. 
However, I wouldn't recommend it. It just I, I've never I don't really like programming in the command line. That's just me though. Um, I'll make a tutorial on how to do all the different ways you can do it. Don't worry, guys. Um, but you know, um, I wanted this to you know be a project that we can all enjoy. I guess I didn't want it to be something you know boring and especially and I've had countless people tell me that this software should be paid software. I said no. You know, you guys deserve it for free. I'm gonna upload it for free, and you know, we're all gonna benefit from it because we can't. I can't make software, okay, and expect for it to grow by you know keeping it a secret or only giving it to certain people. I believe you guys deserve the opportunity to you know have a look at it. Now, I have no doubt in my mind that people are gonna start making their own variants of this. They're gonna start editing a little bit of the source code. They're gonna start selling it online. No doubt in my mind, people are gonna start doing that eventually. Um, you know. I'm perfectly fine with that. I wouldn't like it, obviously, because I made this to be free. I want it to be free. And I specifically added it so that I, I implemented a method where, you know, it's not it's not too orthodox. <laughs> not too not too, too orthodox. Um, the one thing I did do is, and I had one person complain to this about me. I'm not going to mention his name because he might be upset with me. But uh, we're not actually going to be uh, holding connections alive. So when a bot connects to a server, essentially the bot would normally... Um, or the device would normally stay connected. You'd keep the connection alive. You'd send a packet or two over every now and again to ensure the connection doesn't go to sleep or, you know, close. Um, we don't do that. We basically close the connection as soon as they connect. They connect, we close the connection. Every time we send an attack or want to execute something on the botnet, what it would do is it would... Um, <coughs> what was I saying again? <laughs> um, essentially, it will... Uh, it will... What was I saying? I completely forgot, you know. Um, yeah, once you send an attack, it will create a new socket. It will then send the data, data over. Um, obviously, all the data is encrypted, once again. So, no one can intercept your packet. So, let's say you're at a coffee shop or some stuff. Um, no one can really use Wireshark or something to sniff the packets you're sending out. If you are hosting the command and control on your personal machine, I would not recommend doing that. I would always recommend using a cloud server or using um, an IoT device of your own for this. Um, because you don't want to really have... Um, this running on your home computer if you're using it maliciously if you're using it for security purposes then obviously do what you want with it <laughs> do what you want with it um, i'm trying to make sure everyone's safe when they're using this though because you know yeah man <laughs> yeah man but um you know there's a lot of stuff you guys need to know when you're using this um i i, I may I, i've tried to make it as simple as possible to set up all you need to do is change a few lines of code then run it you need to install one maybe two packages and that's all um it's still under heavy development please remember this guys i'm not going to tell you guys it's going to be up within the next month because it may not be i'm, I'm hoping by this month you can have it released or at least the first version of it there will be flaws in it i know there will be flaws in it there's flaws in every single piece of software that exists that there, there, there is flaws in software you can't really you know let that let that get to you though you know i believe that as a community we'll all strive together you know make this make this work i have people that do like it um and you know it's secure so you know there's no worry about you know um you guys having to worry about you know servers getting banned or whatnot i this is actually um i believe the main reason why mirai bots and qbot were being banned is because they had they, they, they weren't really secure firstly and secondly they, they were very blatant in what they were doing it's hard to explain but it's very hard to explain but they were very blatant in the way they did certain activities um how they how they moved around you know it's, it's very blatant um what jbot does is you inst this is one jar file that you need to run it and then there's one jar file you need to uh and with the malware i may make more jar files depending on what device you're using etc or what device you're trying to infect um man we've done a few tests on it though it's looking very promising there's also going to be live documentation in the uh software so you know you guys can have documentation there to you know help you guys out there's also going to be a credit section that i made which basically advertises who made it you guys can delete that if you want to you don't need to have it there i have it there because you know personally i think you know, I deserve a little bit of credit for making it. You know, fuck you guys. <laughs> I believe I, you know, I deserve some, 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 you know, personal gain from this. <laughs> but yeah, man, Um, I made a few botnets in my time in Java. I have, and I never, ever, ever finished them. 
because halfway through I realized I made a flaw in the code and I just gave up because I was very undedicated and I believe in Jbot I've noticed a few a few massive flaws a few massive flaws <laughs> and I thought to myself you know what I'm not gonna quit here because I was thinking to myself damn I fucked up and I have to change the entire fucking thing damn it and I was like you know what no I'm gonna I'm gonna save this in a file the error I'm gonna note it on the GitHub so someone can hopefully come along and fix it because I had I don't I don't want to fix it, guys. <laughs> There's a lot of things I don't want to fix, guys. But you know, I'm trying to uh, trying to I'm trying to be as flexible as I can because, as you guys know, I'm running Stressing Ninja by myself. I'm running Jbot by myself. Trying to develop Jbot by myself. You know, it's a bit of a struggle. But there's a lot to be done. You know, there's a lot to be done, guys. Um, one thing, um, I also I also really want to implement is, uh, I forgot what it was to be honest. I forgot what I was going. To oh yeah, it was um dynamic so you can just run the jar file it will create everything for you you wouldn't have to do anything else but you know that's just another process right now i'm trying to keep it a little bit manual so you guys can get an idea um but yeah let me think is there anything else i'm missing out on um mm -mm -mm -mm. there's not really maybe there is maybe there's not also we got a new logo shout out to our logo designer you know who you are i'm not going to say your name because i clearly forgot your name but yeah um hopefully if you guys did enjoy this video don't drop a like subscribe all that good shit um you know let me know in the comment section if you're hyped for this i'm very hyped i don't know if you guys are hyped then yeah peace out <laughs>